When a massive star reaches the end of its life cycle, it can end with a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. This mighty blast scatters the star's outer layers into space. These scattered remnants then coalesce to form new nebulae, continuing the cycle of stellar life and death. As gravity takes the lead, these clouds begin to collapse under their own weight, a process known as gravitational collapse. This marks the birth of a protostar, a young star that is still gathering mass from its parent nebula. This infant star is just starting to glow with potential. As the nebula collapses further, it forms a spinning disk of gas and dust around the protostar, known as a protoplanetary disk. This disk is the birthplace of planets. Think of it as a cosmic whirlpool, where gravity and collisions play key roles in shaping its structure. Within this protoplanetary disk, tiny dust particles begin to stick together through a process called accretion. Over time, these particles clump together to form larger bodies known as planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. It's like rolling a snowball. The more it rolls, the more material it gathers. Gravity then pulls in more material, causing these planetesimals to grow even larger. As they continue to collide and merge, they form protoplanets, the precursors to fully developed planets. Imagine a chaotic dance of cosmic collisions, leading to the birth of new worlds. As protoplanets take shape, they undergo a process called planetary differentiation. This is when heavier elements sink to the core, forming a dense center, while lighter elements create the mantle and crust. In the outer solar system, we see the gas and ice giants, which likely have a solid core, but are mostly composed of gases in their outer layers, with lighter elements floating to the outside. This layering is crucial in shaping a planet's structure and geological activity.